Hey gang, welcome to your 25th Django tutorial and in this video I'm going to show you how we can redirect our users after they've logged into the application. Okay then, so we saw in the last tutorial that if we try to go to forward slash articles forward slash create, if we're not logged in, it will redirect us to the login page. But if we then log in, it doesn't take us to the article create page where we try to get to it instead just dumps us on this article listing page now that's not very good i'd like it to redirect us to the page we just tried to access now if i go back if i log out in fact and try to go to articles create again it will redirect me to the login page notice this in the url it's gone to the login url right here but after that we have a query string and a query string is denoted by this question mark that starts the query string then we have a variable a query parameter called next and that's set equal to forward slash articles forward slash create so this is telling django look this is where the user probably wants to go to next right it's captured where we've come from where we've tried to access and then when we log in we probably want to go back to this forward slash articles forward slash create but the trouble is how do we then access this variable right here from the query string and use it to relocate the user to that URL. Well, when we render this login page, and we can see this in the login view down here, when we return this render, we render the login.html page, we also send the request object. And on the request object, we have access to these parameters right here. And we get them via the dot get property. Okay, so this is a get request. So we can use the dot get property, much like we used the dot post property to get post data. We can use the dot get property on the request object to access this next variable. Okay, so this request object right here, this is accessible inside this login template or any other template. So if we go to the login template, we have access to that request object down here. So we can check that, hey, does the next property right here, the next parameter, does that appear anywhere in the URL? And we can check that underneath this by opening our template tags. So curly brace and percentage sign, then saying if, we're doing an if check right here, if request dot get, so we're saying, get the get object on the request object if request.get.next which is the parameter name that we want right here there so we're saying if that exists right now then we want to do something so this html that i put below this will only appear if this is true if that next parameter occurs so what do we want to output well we want to output an input field and I'll explain this in a second and this input field will be hidden so a user can't see it. The name is going to be next. That is where we want to go to next and the value of this is going to be dynamically output. So double curly braces again it's request dot get dot next. So the value of this input field is going to be this thing right here whatever next is equal to. So in this case forward slash articles forward slash create that will be the value of this input field and then after we've done that we can end this if statement so end if so why are we doing this well we're checking if this query parameter next exists because if it does then we want to redirect them to whatever that next is equal to right so we're checking if that exists first of all on the login page if it does then we're outputting this hidden input and the name of this input is next and the value is going to be whatever the next parameter is equal to inside the URL. In this case, forward slash articles forward slash create. And the reason we're doing that is because when we then make a post request, this information will come along with the post request, this value. And we can then access that information inside the post request of this login view. So if we can access that information right here, we know within this view, where we want to send the user back to, and we can do that, right? So instead of just redirecting them to articles list, we can check if this next property exists, if it was sent back in the form, in the post data, and if it does exist, we can send them to that value. Make sense? 
So after we've logged the user in, let's just do a little check to see if the next property in the post object is present. So we'll say if then next and then outside in request dot post, then do something. So this right here is saying if the next parameter occurs in request dot post, if that's being sent along via this thing right here, yeah, then what we want to do is actually redirect them to that next position. So we'll return a redirect and this redirect is going to be request dot post dot next or rather dot get to get a particular parameter from the post object and it's going to be next okay so it's getting the next thing right here because we have a, uh, a name of next and we also need to spell hidden correctly we have a name of next so it's getting this input field value and it's redirecting to that value which will be forward slash um, articles forward slash create all right now else if we don't get that on the post request then instead I just want to return a redirect to articles list so if we just go directly to the login page and we're not coming from that article create page then this won't exist right here it won't be present therefore if that's not present inside the HTML this won't output because this will be false right this won't appear in the request therefore this won't be output therefore when we click submit or login we don't receive that and so this will be false because next is not in request at post and then we're going to return this redirect instead i hope all that makes sense so let's save both of these and try it out so again i'm going to make sure i'm logged out then try to go to articles create get forward into the login page and it says where the next value should be a login and now it takes me to the article creation field now if I log out again and just go direct to accounts forward slash login then we don't get that next parameter and if I log in this time it doesn't redirect me to the add or create article page it just redirects me to this article listing page cool so there we go that's how we detect where we're coming from when we go to the login page and redirect to that page if we need to